homie, I am on. Homie, I am on. Everything come together looking like it's Voltron. I'ma get it while I'm here. Couldn't get it when I'm gone. Yo, what is up? It's your boy Kevin Paylor back to you with another Rocket League video. Today we are looking at the new article that Rocket League just dropped a couple hours ago talking about the new Ignition Series items which is launching on March 11th. They gave us a glimpse of the new car looks like, got some new wheels, got a goal explosion in the back. It's looking pretty looking pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I always get excited for like the new items right away and then I'm like, eh, these are whack and I'll use them for a day or two, but hey, can't complain with free items. Uh, well, I shouldn't say free items. They're not going to be free. Can't complain with new items. But let's go through this article real quick. The Ignition series is the latest collection of new in-game items coming to Rocket League, and it's set to arrive this week. Expect to see these items in the wild beginning on March 11th, the day after the March update. Yo, I laugh because <laughs> they say expect to see these items in the wild like they've some Pokemon or some shit. Uh, no, but I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. That was just funny to me. <laughs> uh, I didn't. So I, I'm late with this as well. I didn't talk about the March update, but the March update is dropping tomorrow, March 10th. And that update is going to include blueprint trade-ins, which I'm so happy that they're bringing uh, to the table. I don't understand why they didn't do it from RIP. I don't know what they were planning on. I don't know if they were just testing the waters to see how well the blueprint update did. And I think now that they are, you know, everybody, people are buying blueprints and people are opening and, and crafting the blueprints to get the items and stuff like that. So I'm sure they're making a little bit of money. So I think with that, they're probably like, you know what, let's get let's make some more money because nobody's crafting these rares and very rares. But they're more than more than likely to craft some painted imports and painted exotics and everything like that. So that's coming. I'm excited uh, with that. They're doing some, you know, uh, audio fixes. I think they're changing the default camera settings and the default default um, some default controls as well. So newer players, when they come in, uh, they'll have a better view of the field as opposed to you know right up on the camera and not able to see downfield or see the ball or with the intense camera shake and everything like that that you know that's how we could tell a noob is a noob <laughs> uh but yeah so that's coming march 10th this is dropping march 11th uh the series will feature the first new car of 2020 the komodo plus six komodo decals and 16 additional new items like the tremor wheels the title stream animated decal and the meteor storm goal explosion so that's i think that's all we see in the back right now uh, for the first time you'll be able to get these items in a couple of different ways blueprints from the series will start to drop after select online matches you can also expect to see these items along with their painted variants cycle through the item shop uh, be sure to check it out on release day so i'm assuming that they're gonna have they'll probably if i had a guess they'll probably put the goal explosion in the shop first and then they'll probably put the car uh, and usually they, they only have like two items, right? And then the rest are like rares and very rares, I think. Uh, I don't think they'll put wheels in. So I'm going to, I'm going to guess that the two hot topic, uh, the hot ticket items are going to be the goal explosion and the, the car. They'll probably drop that on day one. I'm curious to see if the car will be painted. And I'm curious to see if the goal explosion could be painted too. That'd be pretty cool. If like the meteor, the meteor rocks are painted and, um, that might be a little too much. <laughs> uh, but you never know. Uh, let's see. So keep an eye out on these items. It's March 11th. So let's scroll down and see. Oh, they got a video of the explosion. Yo, that's actually kind of dope. Yo, that's, that's different. Yo, that's kind of sick. They got it. So they got it instead of it exploding outwards, it's exploding like into the goal and, or the meteors are dropping from I don't know, from behind. I'm curious where that's going to like when you score. I'm curious, like how that's going to look. That's actually kind of cool. You know, that opens up so many different ideas and everything to kind of have it explode into the goal as opposed to like out of the goal. You know, that's sick. I'm excited. I'm excited to check that out. All right. What else are they showing us? Oh, so that decal wasn't the one in the picture. The title stream animated decal. That's, that looks sick, too. And shoot, it's not a black market. That's that's pretty sick. Or maybe it is a black market. No, because they would call it black market, right? They wouldn't say animated decal. Animated decal like the universal. But then again, the universals are the universals, right? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but that decal is actually pretty dope. Uh, all right. So then they got some more pictures. So we got the Komodo. Uh, I see the car. The car looks pretty dope. It looks like a little 350Z. Uh, they got the Ultralex wheels. 
Uh, the wheels are pretty sick too, actually. I'm not even going to lie. I like the colors on them. I'm thinking those are going to be the default wheels. Uh, and then, you know, whenever you get a painted wheel, it's usually a one solid color. So those look pretty cool. Then they got the Flamer Rate Boost. Eh, the boost is all right. Can't really do too much with boost. There's so many different boosts. Like, some of them are too too much. <laughs> uh, all right. So here we got an Octane uh, of... What is that? A vertebrate octane decal? Yo, that oh, that decal is actually pretty dope. I know it's clean and slick. I think that's the vibe that they're going for. But that, that decal is actually pretty dope. Uh, those wheels, the glaive wheels, I'm not a huge fan of them. Not going to lie, not a huge fan. The colors are cool, but... And then they got the same boost, just a different color. Uh, then we got the Fennec decal. Yo, the ombre. <laughs> Yo, that decal is actually pretty dope too. What the hell? It's it's like it reminds me of the Huntress a little bit. That same like kind of 3D effect, but it doesn't have the lines and everything like that. So it's like that two tone. I don't know if it's just because it's black and red and those are my favorite colors, but that decal is actually pretty dope. And then they got the Orbit wheels. Mm, those are. Ugly as hell. Them fully plated wheels, yo. They're so ugly when they do that. Uh, then they got the same boost, just a different color again. And then, what is this? A, the Sentinel decal? Oh, my God. Who plays with the Sentinel? And then we got the Tremor wheels. Yo, the Tremor wheels are actually pretty dope, too. I mean, they're kind of, uh, I, I don't want to say gimmicky. I don't think gimmicky is the word I'm looking for. They're, like, loud and, like, flashy. Um, they're, I like the design, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, just, like. <laughs> they don't work realistically, but the fact it's a game, obviously, just with the the cuts and the wheels, I don't know. They actually look pretty cool. I'm very curious what they're going to look like painted. All right. Not a bad, yo, not a bad list of items here. That's what's up. Some new items since uh, the Blueprint update, actually, because we got the FSLBs and the Spiralis wheels. So this is a nice little refresher of uh, of uh, new new items. So... But yeah, uh, sorry I didn't do any update on the blueprint trade-ins. I didn't. I mean, I recorded, I recorded a video and then I was late with it, like getting it uploaded. So I was like, you know what? Let me not do it. And then they just dropped this today. So word. Uh, I didn't really get to talk much about RLCS either, guys. I know you've heard by now. RLCS, the event at least, is canceled. Uh, I'm so bummed. Uh, it's cool that we get to still see the gameplay and everything like that, which is you know. Obviously, a lot, a lot of fun still, but just being there is just a whole nother level. Like being there was such a blast when I was there for RLCS seven. Uh, so I'm just, I'm really bummed that I can't be that. You know, they canceled it. I get it. I know it's a health uh, con uh, concern, a health issue. Um, they just want everybody to be safe, and they don't, you know, when it's a lot of people like that, um, things tend to spread a lot quicker. Uh, Dallas already has like 11 confirmed cases and stuff like that. Some of the players coming from EU just traveling is dangerous for them. I mean, it's just it's a whole mess. So I get it. I'm just being selfish and I'm just bummed because, I mean, when I went to RLCS 7, I got to meet everybody that I wanted to meet uh, from the YouTube scene, from the Rocket League scene. Uh, this year, I would have been able to meet John Sandman and that's just such a bummer that I'm not gonna be able to see him um another thing about me too if y'all don't know already I'm a big food head uh, I love food I love just comparing and tasting different foods and stuff like that uh, I love pizza I love burgers I'm fat I know but to me personally five guys has one of the best burgers I've ever had and no fast food chain is has ever compared to it uh, I've never been to an In-N-Out, though, and I know a lot of people say In-N-Out is up there, and there was going to be an In-N-Out burger seven minutes from my hotel. Yo, so I'm so bummed I'm not going to be able to get that either. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. Stuff happens in life for a reason, and you just got to roll with it. And, you know, one day, one day I'll get to meet Mr. Sandman. One day I'll get to try an In-N-Out burger. But until then, I'm just uh, stuck here chilling, making these videos, and... I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, I'm bummed, but it is what it is. And we just got to move forward. 
Uh, I have been, uh, yo, my next video, I think I'm going to just do a, comp a compilation of all of these drops that I've been getting. Yo, I've gotten a lot of good drops from watching the streams and everything like that. So I want to put that together and see what you guys think. Uh, I, I really enjoyed my last video, the bingo challenge. Uh, it did. It got a lot of likes. Uh, it didn't get too many views, but, you know, uh, I'm a small channel and anyway, but it's just I think it's so funny that sometimes when I make videos like this, I get a ton of views, yo, and um, oh, a ton of to me is a couple thousand like that's uh, I freaking appreciate that so much but then when i like put in mad work to try and do like the bingo video and stuff like that i got like 30 some views and hey i appreciate those 30 people that watch me like yo shout out to y'all like y'all the ones that are probably gonna be the only ones listening to this message right here but um you know much love i, I really appreciate that and i had a lot of fun doing that video a lot of fun making it with Mickey fresh and everything uh, i i definitely want to do that more so uh, i'm trying to save up to get a computer I think once I get that, uh, videos will be out a lot, you know, more frequent. Uh, I'll have some kind of schedule and stuff like that. And it'll just be, hopefully it'll be, you know, a lot more fun and uh, better quality and stuff like that. So much love as always. I'll stop uh, talking. <laughs> uh, if you guys like the video, you know, make sure to subscribe, come back for more. Uh, I definitely appreciate y'all. Peace.